On the health watch, much, much of the country is facing a triple threat of flu, RSV, and COVID. Doctors say this is shaping up to be one of the worst flu seasons on a record with hospitalizations high and 9,300 deaths already. And all this happening as millions of Americans are about to travel for the holidays. CBS 4's Michael George has more. The Buck family of Marin County, California is venturing out again after recovering from a bad outbreak of the flu. It's been literally hell. <laughs> Just as Americans gather for the holidays, the nation is being gripped by a triple-demic of respiratory illnesses, COVID, the flu, and RSV. The CDC estimates there have already been 15 million flu cases, with nearly every part of the country reporting high or very high levels. This is the season. It's hitting hard and early. Some have reported difficulty finding cold and flu medicine and children's painkillers. COVID cases are also surging, though not as high as last year. The White House is once again providing Americans with free tests at covidtest.gov. We preserve the tests so we could have them on hand for exactly this moment. RSV hospitalizations remain high, putting a strain on hospitals. CBS News medical contributor Dr. David Agus says Americans should limit their exposure to others this week. I don't want you sick and not being able to go to your family event. So as much as possible now, try to use caution so that we can all get together for those family events. And Dr. Agus also says it's not too late to get your flu shot. It takes about a week to kick in, and remember, the flu season will continue for the next few months. Michael George, CBS News, New York.